So this is just a test run after a long stressful day of work to see if I fix the audio. Video quality with this Max Mod and the settings I have is the best video I've ever made. It just looks great. So, if I can get the microphone working, then my videos for the rest of the year and moving forward should be the best ever. We'll see. Let's rev the engine, see how, what it picks up. This is with my uh, mask open, I mean visor. Let's put the visor down, see if it's a little bit different. So this is with the visor down. We'll check this later. And uh, let's just go for a ride and see what we get. Worst case is we get bad audio, but I had a good time. Let's go. Ooh, it's a little hot, but once I get going. This is being silly. They're getting new tile, I mean new uh, siding. My neighbor next door remodeled her house, got new siding, then I did. And then absolutely everyone else on the block got new siding. I wonder what they're getting. I just replaced and painted this, uh, the house, the cedar. I replaced the cedar. Beautiful having a cedar house. Should last about 30 years. And the house is about 30 years old, so. Um, got a good deal. Uh, the neighbor I just mentioned, she used hardy board. That's very durable and will probably last forever, but it looks plastic to me, so I don't like it. And two other neighbors did their cider, cedar, sorry. And uh, a couple did um, aluminum siding or vinyl siding, or both, I don't know. And they didn't realize that she actually had to replace that like every 15 years. But there's that. Anyway, the whole street looks awesome. There's a little appetite. past Dickinson Park coming up to the Dickinson Village Center Harris Teeter Rita's Ice Cream uh, the worst barber shop in the world the liquor store with cigars not for me some other things a tailor some dentist some office there we go Let's see if we can get a look at that Oh yeah, in the corner stable restaurant, our little Exxon, don't kill me person, and I gotta pay attention so I can't stare at the uh, Harris Teeter too much. I'm curious to see if this bike is working okay. So there we go. I think you can see the Harris Teeters right there. Don't wanna hurt my neck guess we'll go this way yeah looks like I got gas we'll fill up on the way home I'm not going too far half a tank quarter tank, more than half a tank on the hill. Coming down through a uh, business area. Class A offices, but getting up there. Oh yeah, it's starting to get some spaces, some things like yoga, 
So they're trending towards Class B, but they're nice. It's a nice little community of uh, offices. Oh uh, yeah, I forgot. It's uh, pretty close to uh, work being, it's, it's actually rush hour time. So there comes a motorcycle guy, oh, a scooter guy. He's going fast. Do I chase him? Nah. <laughs> He's checking to see if I'm racing him. Nope, I'm just keeping up. Mm. Forty-six and uh, what was that? Thirty-five or thirty? I don't know. a helmet but it doesn't look like much else I wonder if he's got gloves on I'm the act act guy I got all the gear all the time I got a AI airbag on vest on me there's the bumpy bumpy Columbia patching horrible horrible fix that guys on my last video with the bad audio that's what they do in Maryland this, they don't have the winter roads like up north but they get these spots that get potholes every year and they just put more blacktop on top of it and more and more all of a sudden it's like 50 different repair jobs well they did fix that though that's good those weren't the worst ones though stop there's another one of these little patchy jobs can you see that I don't know if you'll see that uh, uh, never seen that up north Right alongside 32, Route 32. Lane right beside me is heading towards Ellicott City, the end of 29. I'm sorry, just say 32, I meant 29, Route 29. It ends up there, end of Route 29 in Ellicott City. Going the direction I was going, that goes to Silver Springs and uh, all the way across. To, I know it goes to South Carolina. Maybe it goes further. The policeman always sits here. Not today. Oh, I know it goes all the way to Florida. I have to look when I get home. So we're coming up on, I guess, the north side of Maple Lawn. He's turned in, so we're going. I'm going to go up again past Johns Hopkins uh, Applied Physics Lab. This looks stupid. There it is, 29. I don't know why I called that 32. Long day. Make sure this guy can see me. <laughs> Just goof it off. Try to get my front wheel up. It's hard to do on a 400. Just want a little chirp off the ground. Didn't work. Fiddle sticks, I say. All right. There's 
a Starbucks and a Chick-fil-A over there. Both relatively new within the past few years. And up here is the Applied Physics Lab. Worst drivers in the world. You'd think people that knew about physics would know about driving, but there's no correlation. Look at that guy tailgating up there. What's going on here? Oh, someone's crossing the street to the other building. here before wanting to leave work and get home probably not paying attention there you go this place is huge this I don't like so much because there's a car there we're okay all right back to the lab There's the big satellite dish Jake and I like that moves around. Someone has a cool job. Or maybe not, I don't know. Looks like it might be cool. Probably get bored with it the first day. Time to move the satellite dish. This so reminds me of Xerox. I know I'm saying things I said in the past two videos, but audio was screwed up. Hopefully I have it right this time. If not, like I said, who cares? I'm out for a nice ride. I'm gonna head up towards Clarksville, I think. That'll be fun. Take a big old left down here. Yeah, that's a lot of wind in this helmet. So, I don't know. You guy tailgating. Get up here and go. Oh yeah, all clear. It's all me. This is actually a risky ride because I had a crap day at work. Things are so way up in the air and nobody knows what's going on. It'll work itself out, but in the meantime, I will feel free to have some anxiety about it. In which case, generally wasn't riding if I had a tough day at work. And then I think that's the wrong decision. I know if you get into the right wrong frame of mind, you crash and you do stupid things. I think like within a couple of minutes on the bike, I relax and it's actually, uh, let's see, what, what would you call it? Therapeutic. 
and very helpful and probably make me happy. So maybe I should actually start riding, take a quick ride at lunch every day. As soon as my wife got home, Ying, I was gone. Kiss a hug, I love you, and I gotta go. She was like, go relax, she's awesome. This is uh, River's Edge, Clarksville Middle School, and is that the elementary school? Yeah, that's elementary. For those keeping track, Let's see, do I want to turn up here? Uh, yeah, I want to turn up here. As soon as I can remember the turn, is it this one? I think it's this one. Oh, River Hill. Uh, not River's Edge, my bad. Doopa doopa doo, gotta go right into Crooksville. And, wee hoo. Ah, I was talking about 29 and calling it 32, but up here we're gonna get cross 32. Uh-oh, what's the speed limit? There's a camera. Fiddlesticks. Oh well, it's for the other way. I'll be fine. I have to remember that's there. No comment. <laughs> anyway, I was ready for that. Woohoo! That's 32. To the left goes up towards 70 and to the right goes to where 32 ends at interstate something. I forget. Oh my gosh, it goes to Annapolis, whatever. Ah, uh, you know what? Maybe I should just go to Elegant City. Nah. Nah. I accept your traffic calming challenge, sir. Ooh, puppy. Puppies like to eat motorcycles. Gotta watch them. Hey. away. Oh, we're gonna hit that manhole cover. Oh. Well, last two videos, I didn't have Horizon set uh, to fixed. So there's a feature for this Max Pro lens where the Horizon stays fixed even if you're tumbling upside down, which we hope we won't do right now because that's not good. But see what that feature does. It should be pretty cool. Keep the horizon in one place. Got stabilization on to the max and smoothing, hyper smoothing, and of course the max super view, which is the best part of this lens. Time to shift. Okay. It's another village center for this village, River Hill Village Center. This one has a giant in it. We both have McDonald's. Mine has a McDonald's but you can only eat so much McDonald's. Get up here and see what you can do. It's gotta be rush hour, so I don't have a lot of hope. Yeah, not a lot of hope. Definitely not a lot of hope. I'm just gonna wait. 
There's a little building over there that has Japanese, Korean, Chinese. I suppose I could go, but if I wanted to, I'm going to use this. And that person's waiting for me. Oh, they're getting over though. Okay. I think the high school is coming up on the right now that I think about it. That's a new plaza. Best part of that plaza is they got a five guys in a cold stone together. <laughs> Ooh, and a Starbucks. Ooh, and a cabal place. It's starting to fill in. River Hill High School. There it is. Now I remember. Over the Hawks. Eh, I never heard of you. Anyway. This is a second uh, elementary school, which would mean they have a lot of kids if they have two. Alright. Eh, I guess my area has the same. When I was first starting, I used to be so nervous about that little turn right there. I really hope this audio turns out. That would be great. That would be the start of making the best videos I've ever made. My old microphone works great though. I don't understand the difference. Maybe this one was too sensitive. My old $15 one, I still have it. And if I have to, I will go back to it. But this is supposed to be better for being on a motorcycle. And uh, if I just get it set up right. And it's, this one's only like $24. So, ah, still. I'm not spending hundreds of dollars on a microphone setup, so you get what you get. I used to be scared of this curve too. <laughs> well, I'm not scared, just super cautious. Oh, got to do the motorcycle wave. I love the motorcycle wave. I'm not a group kind of guy, but that's fun. Waving at other motorcycles is fun, I must admit. Go straight. Guy's nice, he's staying back. We'll go straight here today. <laughs> Thank you. 
headed down towards Centennial Park. It's one of the parks with the lake. There's like five or so, seven, five lakes, five I think, uh, lakes in each of the respective parks, parks here in Columbia. And they're awesome for walking around. Some people fish and kayak. No swimming. Lots of wildlife. Lots of trails. Ah. I wanted to buy that house. We just passed that red one with the stone. I did. It's so cool. But Yang voted it down because it's on a major highway. Well, not major highway, a major, a big road. Road with a lot of traffic. Coming up to the farm with the petting zoo and the Halloween events and the pumpkin picking. It's a good way to kill a weekend. A weekend day, half a day. Ugh. Right up here, Elo Elox farm. Man, I'm trying to hit every single, every single Clark Seabock farm. I'm trying to hit every single manhole cover. The heck. Ah, I don't like this at all. This will be nice when it's done though. Look at me, you can see me. Good. <laughs> Up we go. Oh, my butt. And my butt. Ouch. Boop. <laughs> Gotta stand up a bit. Oh, oh, stretch. There we go. <laughs> okay, Centennial Park is actually to the left of us. Uh, boop, boop. <laughs> Hurt. All right, hope everyone's paying attention. generally forgetting that it is rush hour since it's a new park I'll try to pay attention though down go down speed bump road But in the air, like you just don't care. Woohoo! <laughs> there are nine of these between before we get to the next road. I'm stand up. La 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 la. No butt crack for you. <laughs> Oh man, just as soon as you sit down. <laughs> I don't have to be so dramatic, but it's fun to stand up. They're not that bad. Let's do one sitting down. And he's like, what the heck is wrong with that guy? When Jake was a little guy, really little, he would see those hump signs and it would say hump. 
and it was really useful and then he grew up and stopped doing that and I was so spoiled that I didn't watch for the humps he was so cute little guy hump <laughs> my early warning system it's another pool over there one of Columbia's 28 pools that you can go to One more to go, I think. All right. We're in downtown. Oh, look, three scooters. Downtown Columbia. Woohoo. These guys aren't going to wait for me. They're going to be taking hoop. And maybe I'll take a run through the mall. What do you think? Why not? Boop, boop, boop. What am I doing? Oh, this is an easy decision. To the right. Yeah. Yeah. Rush hour. I should be paying more attention. Oh, another scooter. Oops, there in the middle of nowhere. Let's do this. Yes, yes, indubitably, you should pull up. this guy. Welcome to Columbia. Go down here. Let's go this one. No, let's go straight. Let's look at them all. Woohoo! Not really much to look at from here. They stop. They stop. The mall at Columbia. Hey, you know, I also wanted to look at those townhomes, but the schools were bad. Imagine being able to walk right to the mall. That would get old so fast.
super no turn on red and I'm way up here that's easy boop doop 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 There's the local bus, there's the commuter bus, that's the inter-county bus. So we got local, county, and commuter. Commuter goes to Baltimore and also DC. Puppy! Does the puppy want to eat me? No, that's a good puppy. <laughs> Just go past the community college, past the hospital, take a left, and maybe, just maybe, head all the way back up to the applied physics lab, and then home. That sounds good. I keep thinking about making just a 15 minute video when I make videos, but I think if someone wants to like find this and they miss Columbia, what would I cut out? Maybe I like to watch Pittsburgh and other places I've lived. I would, watch, would love to watch those videos that people put up. So I wouldn't want, wouldn't want it edited, but it takes so long to process because I got to stitch them all together. Because oh my, I don't like the looks of this guy. Oh, he wants to race. You ain't got nothing on me, except I'm boring and I don't want to race. There's the community college. Nope, 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 nope. And coming up on the hospital and all the medical offices. Hey, look at this guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid of that guy. <laughs> Columbia Center for Theater. Arts, their theatrical arts, Junior Tensa presents Into the Woods, July 22nd through the 23rd. Oh, it's over. Oh, that car is a smoker. Disgusting. 
they're probably like, oh, there's a guy on a motorcycle. Disgusting. There goes my buddy. Coming up on patient first. Our favorite place to go when we're feeling down and low. Coming up, it's a little ways down here. Maybe a mile, mile and a half, I don't know. Uh, Robinson's Nature Center recommend. It's good for a weekend. They have inside exhibits. They got trails. They have events. Kids go there on field trips. Nice. Nice little community nature center. Recommend. Like I said that on the other two videos. Where my audio didn't work. but I don't know what's going on up here. Oh, have I had my turn signal on? I hope not. No, can't be. Can it? I hope not. Okay. And... It's another town center right over there. They have a giant and a good ice cream shop. Hickory Ridge Town Center. Five miles per hour, I'm going 50 52. <laughs> That's typical. There's the nature center, Robinson Nature Center. Coming up on 32 to the right if we took this exit. Hey guy, if we took this exit, 32 towards Clarksville, the next exit would be that bridge we went over when I said I'm going over 32. So kind of a rectangle, right? Look at this patchwork. Oof, my butt. Look at this patchwork, disgusting. Fix your roads, Maryland. You charge enough monies. And right up here is the road I went that way, that way. After I passed Johns Hopkins, got down to the bottom of the hill, we went that way to Clarksville. In case you're curious. In case anyone's listening, I know more than Elaine are my two biggest YouTube subscribers. <laughs> Just coming up past Johns Hopkins. Maybe I'll do a quick ride through uh, Maple Lawn. Just for grins. Maple Lawn Town Center.
Hopkins Applied Physics Lab. maple lawn over there. Those offices, we're going to drive through between those offices over there. We're going to end up on the street between those two offices. There's a lot of nice houses, big, medium, small. There's also a lot of uh, townhomes that are beautiful. I haven't heard anything from my phone. I gotta wonder if my uh, cardo is working. I assume it is. Condos, pretty nice. There's uh, Ying's, uh, one of Ying's doctors for regular checkups. Down here, the condos are kind of cool. They got some of them have some of these old Victorian or English looking fronts. Very cool. Not those ones. This one over here. There we can see that. Hope oh, you can see that. That's beautiful. If you're gonna live in a townhouse. That's the way to do it. Hey, scooter dude! <laughs> He's not even paying attention. Got my turn signal on again? What kind of an amateur am I? I'm an amateur. Well, I'm an amateur. Oh, they were gonna come up here. Just for people trying to pull out here. Here we go. In between those buildings I was pointing out. A lot of vacancies. These are really new. Hopefully they'll fill in. They're already getting ready to build another one. Come up here, go past the restaurants. There's a couple of places we like up here. Jake's, uh, kids haircut places up here there's an awesome bakery that restaurant's pretty good actually oh what, I, what am I doing <laughs> should know that was gonna happen rookie 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 no oh, well hopefully no one will see that part because I won't edit it out uh, still not a, a professional motorcyclist maybe lower intermediate I would say still make some mistakes support our captain. I think they mean Captain Morgan. Uh, where is that? Johnny Depp. Oh, that's Johnny Depp because of that whole rigmarole that he was going through, which I didn't pay any attention to, so I have no idea what, what that's all about. Oh, look at this. Ooh, there's a stop sign here, and I wasn't expecting a stop sign to be here. I don't remember a stop sign to be here. Initially, I remember all the stop signs. All right, go up here. There is a Harris Teeter. Go this way. Yep. Good looking at the 
stores, restaurants, there's some stores over there. It's grown, these are kind of new. Why do I have to stop here? I don't want to stop here. I'm stopping here. It says stop. I'm going to stop. Legally, I don't have to, but... Oh, there's, there's our CVS. There's a McDonald's over there. And I don't need to go through there. As I go around this corner, you will see the commuter bus stop that Yang goes to every morning to take the commuter bus in. Still building houses from the 700s. Yeah. All right, there's where Ying parks. Need a bus stop. Not a bad ride home. Take 32 back to Johns Hopkins and then home. So then we get to play around, eat some dinner, then play around and see if my audio is better. Let's hope. I hope. I hope. This helmet is very windy. Lots of wind noise. When I'm on 29, I'll talk a lot and see how much noise there is on the interstate type roads, even though it's a state route. Which is called limited access, high speed roads, controlled access. Look at that bump. What is that? All right. All right, everybody. I'm going to beat that guy even though he's coming. So this was a good ride, but I did make two mistakes shifting, which is odd, because uh, 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 I basically have that down. Yeah. Who knows? My mind is racing. All right, we're getting up to 50. Let's see what the noise is like. I'll talk louder. That's another thing. I don't know how loud to talk with this microphone. I'll figure it out. There we go. Route 29 North for a very short amount of time. Uh, you know what? Maybe since we came that way when we first started, maybe I'll go down to 32 and take 32 back home so you can see where 29 and 32 meet. How's this sound? I got a lot of wind. So I wonder what the microphone is picking up. Can't wait to see. Let's pull you on over here. There we go. And if you remember at the start of my ride when I was explaining, <laughs> saying erroneously that this was 32, then correcting myself, where that car is is where I, I was describing where 29 went to Silver Spring one way and other kids in the other. Just as a reference, that's from the very start of the ride. And we're going over, like we did that bridge where I had to yield down there, we're going over the uh, Middle Patuxent River, which is right on the trail right behind our house. I'm from Pittsburgh, so I'm amazed at what they call a river here, but I'll go with it. And this is how close we are to 32, the junction of 32 and Clarksville. I don't know where I'll trim the front of this video, or the end of this video because I won't take you all the way to my house obviously but uh we are really really close 
to this intersection, which is very convenient. a good look at the exit sign because I like to see where people are by referencing the exit signs and the road signs. I have to freeze it and try to catch a glimpse of where they are after I guess where they are with pretty good accuracy. This is really loud so I'm going to be really amazed to see what this, this audio sounds like. I like this exit because you got to sneak in here and then shut her down real quick. Not as dramatic as I made it out to be, but still, it's cool. It's an interesting corner with the truck loaded full of furniture, I can tell you that. <laughs> All right, let's see what we get here. Let's shift down. Am I clear? Anyone coming? Nobody's coming! Hope a car comes because I often get stuck on these uh, light magnets. Uh, Old Columbia Road and Edenbrook Shaker Drive, depending on which way you go. Wonder what the sun's doing, washing everything out, you probably can't see. My turn. Me, me, me. I wonder how long I was gone. I wonder if the battery is still holding out. I wonder if I stopped videoing a long time ago. Probably not. Harris Teeter. Dickinson Plaza. These are new. They're 55 plus townhomes. They started at 500,000 and the sign kept going up 600,000, I think 700,000, and who knows what they sold for. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Dickinson Park again. There's their pool. That's a nice one pool we got there. Very fortunate. 